Hello, welcome back to yet another video from Matthew YouTube. And I know I have done life to you guys so long without a video, without a live for months actually. And now I'm just out here wearing clipping Gymshark. This isn't that nice. Um, today, however, I have decided, you know what, let me let me go back to this, right? It's, it's been a couple months, I might as well, you know? So, um, what do I really want to talk about? What I'm planning on doing today is the Mike Tyson and Jake Paul fight. I don't know how I'm going to talk about this for minutes upon minutes on end. If I were to give my legitimate, genuine opinion, I would yap and ramble and ramble. But let me keep it precise. What what else is the outcome? I get it. Mike Tyson is relatively older, sixty above, sixteen above, roughly. I don't know his exact age. I didn't do my research like that. Um, he is above or so around sixty years old. Jake Paul is in his early twenties. That is literally when we are at our best physically. Um, and Jake Paul is now becoming a boxer, I guess. If I were to give my opinions on this fight, generally, the concept of this fight is not one many people in, in like really. It, it, I, I didn't wake up one day and was like, huh. You know what? What if Jake Paul and Mike Tyson got into a ring? I wonder what will happen. Because the basic knowledge in our minds, or basic common sense in our minds, will tell us, you know what? I think Mike Tyson was smoking. Not only that, but Mike Tyson is in retirement. I think he's had enough. He's done a lot. He's said a lot. He's bitten someone's ear off. Do you know how raw you have to be? to use your mouth to bite someone's ear off do you know how raw you have to be to say into a mic that he's going to have sexual intercourse with another man now pause right but he, he said so many wild stuff mike tyson and that was i mean he did kind of go on a vending saga type of I won't really call it retribution. Uh, no, it's not retribution. Like, kind of arc, I'll say, from uh, the thought from Swansea season 1 to the thought from Swansea season 2. Speaking of that, I have not touched on that series in a very long time. Either way, um, that's basically what has happened, right? He's now settled down, he has a family, you know. And now Jake Paul kind of just, like, there was really no need for this to actually happen. 2024 actually feels like a simulation. With everything that's happened in the past couple, five months, I mean, damn, we're in May. And, and then now, in a couple months, one or two, I believe, we're going to see a live fight on Netflix between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Now, I've seen Mike Tyson train. He posts on Snapchat. Um... I might sound like I have him like personally and I talk to him, no, 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 not like that. He just genuinely posts it out. It's it's literally public footage. Um, and you can view it if you want to. It's probably on YouTube, I assume as well. However, I watched that. I was like, damn, Jake was finished. Like, and enough said. I don't even have to see the fight. I can already assume the outcome with common knowledge. But then he came out and said that after that, he was really, really tired. And uh, it took a lot out of him just to do that video, right? So now you've got to think, what is Jake Paul's goal? Essentially, if happens, God forbid, essentially, if happens, Jake Paul beats up Mike Tyson. Then what? Wow, you're too cool for school. You've beaten up an old, an old man. Like, in his prime, he was the greatest of all time, right? We have video footage of that. There, there's no one's disputing that Mike Tyson is the greatest of all time. No one said, you know what? I think Jake Paul might be him up in a fight. That never came across anyone's head. No one thought, you know what? This makes so much sense. It, it kind of just came out of nowhere. I remember well. Jake Paul did initially say it, um, I believe, in 2022, 2023, 2021, somewhere around there. I remember hearing about it when Jake Paul called him out on like some sort of podcast and was like, um, I want to go round for round or something like that on Mike Tyson. And then Mike Tyson initially declined the offer. But I get it. Mike Tyson needs the money if it, it, like, he's already decided to do this. 
and it's gonna happen like it's official however I've watched a recent video and it came out yesterday speaking about uh, what Mike Tyson said I gave two examples I didn't give two examples of what he said I gave two examples of him being a raw ass guy um, he has said something very recently that I don't know many people are taking it in two different ways one a bit strange two the old Mike Tyson's back right he said and I paraphrase, I saw a video of you dancing when you were 16 and I got an erection. What? <laughs> like, a lot of people, that's, that's their first and sudden reaction. If, if you see the comments, they're like, what the hell is he talking about? You know, that's a bit, that's a bit mad, Mike Tyson. You know, that's, 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 a, that's, a, bit, that's a bit strange, you know. Um, however, this is the same man that said in front of everyone, that he will have sexual intercourse with another man until that other man loves him. Like, like, at this point, I'm, oh, I'm scared for Jake Paul. I'm, I'm actually scared. Like, I put every night I now add him to my nightly prayers because he's gonna need it. He's gonna, he's gonna need prayer. He's gonna need prayer to save him. There, there's no other way. I don't see him getting out of this life. The moment he steps foot in the ring, and he realizes, I'm out of box with Mike Tyson, Iron Mike. Sh like, he's, I think he might as well just poop a brick at that point. Like, th there's no escaping you, you're in the ring, you're in the ring. Like, and I've also heard some rules. Again, I heard that they're fake, they've been debunked. Um, and if some people still believe that they haven't been debunked, they have, um, those are not gonna be the rules. However, I'm assuming it's just gonna be like a like a normal match then, like like I don't know how many rounds or how many minutes per round, or I doubt that they're gonna both be in headgear. However, essentially as well, this is gonna be on Mike Tyson's personal record. Like, okay, so we're gonna see on his pers like his personal boxing career, Mike Tyson, Jake Paul. So when people, like my kids hear about Mike Tyson, they're gonna hear, yo, that was that guy that beat up or got beat up by Jake Paul. You would not want that to be your last fight, right? Um, now, understandably he's doing it for money, like if, if it's gonna pay a lot and it does, then, you know, more power to him, but like, I can only hope for the best and the best case scenario, um, is really uh, I'm if I were to bet money right now even though he's obviously a lot older he's not in his peak prime condition he knows a lot more and especially those instincts I'm really relating this back to Thorfinn a lot however I think the moment he steps through in that ring and it's it's reality like he said he's just gonna snap back to, to his prime mentality, I, I, I believe. But, you know, it could go either way as long as his legacy continues to live on with what we see, you know, the other fights that he's had and, and through the other fights that we've seen already and through the internet, then it should be fine as long, you know, as, <laughs> it, it should be okay, it should be okay. Um, now, I don't know, maybe I'll consistently post once a month for now, from now on. Um, and talk about this general topic. Maybe I might go back to Vinland Saga. I've actually not finished season two yet, I'm a bill. So I'm going to get to that. Uh, you probably will see me in this, and I might even post some gym content here, because I have have been doing lives a lot that's been talking about, oh, should you bulk, should you cut, yada, yada, yada calorie deficit, da 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 um, did I just say should you box, should you cut, um, should you be in a caloric deficit or should you go in a box, stuff like that, my content might revolve more around fitness as well, maybe, I'm not too sure what the direction of this channel is going to be, but um, I hope you guys will continue to be with me on this journey, and hope to in the next video, whenever that comes out, I'll try to make my inconsistent schedule a bit more consistent, especially with exams, that might be a bit hard, but 
Ja, das ist die Aspirin. Peace.